Good morning and welcome at the Zeiss Academy for Metrology. My name is Klaus Schabel and today I want to show you the new functions of Calypso 2019, the first part. Yeah, the main things we want to speak about today are the new functions and um, one of those functions is that we increase the performance of Calypso different things uh, I want to show you, then um, how we can compare an inspection plan, a new interface that says Calypso Express, yeah, um, for how to say, for only users which have only program simple things and um, some innovations in our option size Calypso curve. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is we have now the the option in Calypso to how to say to sort the movement paths in a better way. For example, to reduce the numbers of two changings and so on. Uh, for yeah, I want to show you here in a small example for a part like this when we need some uh, or different stylus systems. And we need for this a lot of time. We can reduce this if we want now with a new functionality in Calypso. In the first step, I open here this a simulation tool. You only have it if you have the um, planner, means an offline station uh, where you program and that you can see it, what happened. I start the program in the first step and let it run. Huh? So you see here, now we have a tool changing. And the alignment will be measured. Again, a tool change. Now, one hole will be measured again, a tool change. And it moves from the left to the right, back to the left, to the right. And again, a tool change. You see, it needs a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. And this is what we can change now. One moment, the report for the first time needs some seconds to get the information, okay. So now the function is under plan, navigation. And here you have now some new functionalities. Um, we can sort the feature for optical optimal navigation with a fast calculation that's, uh, I don't want to show you now. Um, it's during programming. If you only want to measure three or four elements, for example, you can sort only for how to say for the things you've done now. Yeah? But normally, I think the most common thing will be that you sort the complete measurement at the end. And that is this function yeah? that works for, for the whole um, uh, inspection plan and um, yeah then you really see what happened at the end the really the software tried to find really the optimal uh, time yeah for the measurement there is also another option here sort feature groups for optimal navigation if you have in your feature list groups you can define that only the groups should be sorted. Uh, that means that inside the group, the order will be the same yeah, as before. Only the groups itself can be ordered. Yeah. So I want to show you here because here we have the, the most things inside. We sort it for optimal navigation. And now a small window will pop up. 
Do you want to break up the pattern? Yes or no? In my case, I have the uh, I have the pattern in the inspection plan. Um, after this uh, information here, I will also show you how it works with the pattern. Yeah. So in this case, it doesn't matter if you say yes or no. Yeah. Then default order of the last run. That means should Calypso use the information or the, the movement passes from the last run or not? If not, then the software take the uh, information from the original run. Yeah? Because maybe um, we sort it before. Uh, maybe you remember we can also sort uh, um, only some elements. Yeah. And then this was the last run. Yeah. And we can use this order or we can say, no, let's start completely uh, from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Now you see here the timeline. It started to calculate something. It's only uh, yeah, <laughs> a bar, nothing more. I will stop it now to explain it. Um, that was like the beginning time. Yeah. Now Calypso sorted the elements in a new way and calculate the moving paths and the time for this again and can reduce the time. And after the, in this case, after the third calculation, no changing in the movements or in the time, um, no more changing were, were given. And this is why now the bars are red. That means, uh, yeah, you can stop it because now you get a, like an endless loop because nothing is changed anymore. And if I stop it, then I have here a window, the info window, um, which um, show me what Calypso do in the background. Calypso will create a new folder. It's in your in the inspection plan. My name is, you see it here, 2019 up 02. And there we have a new folder sorting and a file called solution. I will show you. And a few measurement plan directory. You see here now the sorting. Yeah. And if I open this, I have here the solution. This is a Z, ZOS file. Uh, you can see nothing in, uh, inside. Uh, what you can use, yeah. <laughs> but here you see the uh, sorted element, for example, yeah. You see the new order, how Calypso will sort it, yeah. Um, in the first step, something with a Star Academy stylus system. This is the name of the stylus system here, or RTL, and so on. Yeah, that's the new order, yeah. And here the reference, yeah, as well. And um, you also can change something in these files, yeah, if you need it. But normally I say do it in Calypso and save it again that here uh, the files will be overrided. That's much better than go in directly inside. Okay. Yeah, and now start again with a new, oh, sorry, with a new order. Before I will show you here under navigation, after the sorting, now here it's marked use sorted feature list for optimized navigation. And if this is marked, now I have here order of run, a new feature, optimized feature order. And we can measure now from characteristic list or from the optimized feature order. If you want again from feature list, then you have to deselect. Yeah. 
and go in again, now you have the old window yeah, with feature list. But I want to show you the new order. I will use the sorted feature list and start again with the optimized feature order. And now you see how it works. First, star stylus for the alignment. Measured to, on the left side before it started on the right side. Maybe you remember. Now we have a tool changing. With this stylus system, now all the small circles will be measured yeah, inside here. Again, tool change. And then the rest will be measured. Yeah, it's much less tool changings now and movement paths. Yeah, that's a real nice function.